What's going on guys? Expert Greatness here from IXO Gaming and today I got a Modern Warfare 3 gameplay for you. Um, not a lot of people post this game so I figured I would. But um, anyways, so I'm playing Capsule Flag with my buddy Gunner Jeff on the map Village. Uh, hopefully you've already been aware of the map and stuff, game type. But um, I'm using what I like to call like a GB setup. Uh, which is basically just a, a class that I would use in game battles or, you know, in a private match with some friends that are pretty good and, you know, just going try hard, objective try hards, and just going for the wins. Um, and basically it's ACR with red dot sight, extreme conditioning, quick draw, dead silence, and support, UAV, and ballistic vest. Although kill streaks would be like turned off in a GB setup, but whatever. Um, so I'm using this class, uh, just cause it's like, I like to use, uh, try hard objective classes in capture the flag. I normally in capture the flag go objective try hard Even though I do that in domination too. It's it's easier to do with uh, multiple different classes in in capture the flag I don't know. I just like to keep it kind of simple, you know three or so guns that I would use in capture the flag and yeah so um, So I was watching this gameplay over and basically I just got Astro Gaming headset, uh, Astro A40s, and they're really nice, and I can hear so much stuff. I can sound a lot better with them than I could with my 720 Tritons, and they're really nice, and I can hear a lot more stuff, right? And I just noticed kill streaks. When kill streaks go up, helicopters, airstrikes, stealth bombers, uh, things like this that make noise, it makes it totally detriments your ability to sound horn, like. When there's, you know, chopper wings turning or, you know, bombs being dropped on the map, it just makes a lot of noise and it, and it keeps you from sound hoarding. And I was kind of thinking to myself, is that a good thing or is it a bad thing? Because people that pay for headsets, you know, they pay a lot of money. Like, my headset wasn't cheap. Um, and, you know, they want to be able to use it as much as they can and they want it to be a huge part of their game because they, they paid for that. And then, again, it also gives them a disadvantage from, it also makes it, like, dis more disadvantage from the people that aren't, you know, that big a game. And, I don't know, it's kind of, uh, is the sound of, what I'm asking is, is the sound of killstreaks noob friendly? I don't know. Because also, killstreaks, most, you know, killstreaks are something that rewards good players, so then there's even more of a contradiction. It's, it's kind of just a weird thing, because, like, I don't know, because the good players get the kill streaks, and then the kill streaks make noise to keep the good players from sound whoring and and doing better with their gun. But then it's giving them rewards with kills and stuff. Oh, that's assault strike package, of course. But like stealth bombers and escort airdrops and stuff, those are just those are completely noob friendly because they make a ton of noise, and anybody can get them if the match is long enough, you know. But I was just kind of thinking about that because should they just I, it kind of made me think of a new like kill streak system they could do, um, with keeping all three strike packages. Cause I kind of like the idea of all three strike packages. Although a lot of people say support should be out, but um, but I don't. I just think it should be a new and improved support. You know what I mean? Cause support in this game wasn't newbish. It was the certain things in support. You know, people getting UAV at four kills isn't newbish. Although it, it can be spam at times, it's not newbish. It's you know what I mean? It's it's just it's the certain things like stealth bomber and you know EMP should be a lot more kills than it is, even though it should, probably should be in the support. And look at this guy landing in the grass. But um, yeah. So like I don't know. They should. Here's what I was thinking. They should have three strike packages, but assault and support should be preset, like it wasn't in, in COD Four. Assault was preset to so UAV, airstrike, attack helicopter. I was thinking, it doesn't really matter what three, but there's got to be a Predator Missile, because Predator Missile is one of the funnest kill streaks in my opinion. Um, but I don't think it should be, there should be, I don't know, I kind of like AC-130 and stuff, but I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be butthurt if they took it out, you know what I mean? Um, support should just be like UAV, counter UAV, and advanced UAV, or, you know, whatever, whatever is you know, the equivalent of Advanced UAV in Black Ops 2. Look at this guy, I just like, sorry, I just interrupted, but look at that guy, I was just like, he started shooting at me and I was just still taking my ballistic vest, I was just like, dude, I'll, I'll get, deal with you in a second, you know? <laughs> but I thought that was funny when I was playing. But, 
And then they should keep specialists, because specialist is awesome, and then you can just customize that however. But then they have like the preset strike packages, and then you just choose a strike package. And the only reason the only reason you would customize it even further is if you're running specialists. You know what I mean? And I think that would that would for one it would simplify the game. Because I don't think that's more complex than it is now. Because now there's you know like 40 different kill streaks in each strike strike package to select from. You know? And um, so it would simplify the game, and it would take out the noobish things out of the strike packages. Like, um. Obviously, assault. There's not really anything newish, but but like in support, stealth bombers, UAVs, stuff like that. Stuff that nobody uses, like airdrop trap and stuff. Like we don't need those in the game because nobody uses them, and it just makes it more complex and and annoying. And it's one more thing you have to scroll through to waste time when you're clicking on kill streaks or whatever. You know what I mean? I just think it's kind of uh, a thing they should do. They should really think about simplifying the kill streak system because. It's kind of so complex that it's not so complex, but it's it's complex to the point that like it's confusing for it's not confusing, but it's just so complex that it takes up a lot of the game that doesn't need to take up. You know what I mean? Like there's there's things that people don't use that they could take out and just make it a lot better. I, I don't know if that makes sense to you guys. I just kind of want to talk about that at this point in the game, though. Or basically just everybody's running around for kills right now. Um, because they're just, we got them spawn trapped kind of. Like, they're just, they're spawning and dying pretty much. Except for that guy just got the flag, so I guess not. But I remember after this game, one of the guys on the other team messaged me. He was like, stupid spawn trapper or something like that. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. Because um, people that can't get out of their spawn shouldn't be, um, shouldn't be, shouldn't be mad. Because they can't get out of their spawn. At least in my opinion. And, um, it's not my fault that I can manipulate spawns in Modern Warfare 3. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, this is a pretty fun match. Like I said, I kind of enjoy Capture the Flag, although it's better with a full party. Because a lot of the games we got in was just, um, just a lot of people on our team who didn't know what that there were flags on the map, you know what I mean? Um, even if they were camping, they wouldn't be defending the flag necessarily, you know? And it was just kind of annoying. And it was like 2v6 every game. But this is one of the first games, and it was a pretty good one. 22 and 3 with support. Um, and I don't know. Like, they should really just simplify the kill streaks. Because um, to be honest, I only use like three strike packages, really. Don't, don't you guys? Like, is there different. a bunch of different forms of strike packages that you use? Like, tons of different support packages and tons of different assaults packages? I know people like the big kill streaks, but. I mean, if they want to keep those in, that's cool, but they definitely need to simplify the support package. But if, I was just saying they could simplify the assault package too. Because um, I don't think that it would take that much away from the game to take out AC-130s and things like that. Um, yeah, so that's just kind of what I want to talk about, guys. I hope you uh, understand where I'm coming from. I just think the game needs to be a little bit more simple. I don't think it needs to be go back to COD 4 simple like a lot of people do. But um, yeah, just a little bit more simpler. Um, that also helps the noobs because then they have to learn less about the game. You know, they... There's less information to intake, you know what I mean? So it's, it's good all around, in my opinion. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace.